Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix lag, stutter, black screen issues and other issues with where winds meet dropped recently. This guide will be covering all of the best game settings and PC settings so make sure to check around at the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. First things first is the best window settings and for that open up settings onto your PC, click on personalization, then colors and then you have to disable transparency effects. This will disable your windows and surfaces appear translucent, allowing you to remove unnecessary animations. Then you have to click on gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. It will help you to optimize your PC by disabling this overlay service while running in the background. Then go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn it on. It will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, helping you to optimize your performances. Click on the graphics settings underneath and then click on optimizations for windowed games. Select advanced graphics settings and then enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Both of these options will help you reduce unwanted input and render latency and utilize your graphic card to render the game. Then you have to click on add desktop app over here and go to the folder where you have downloaded where winds meet. Double click on engine, binaries, win64 and come down to select wwm.exe. Click on the add button over here, come down to find it, select it for the GPU preference, set this into high performance. Also make sure that optimizations for windowed games are turned on and once all of that is done, you are done with the settings. Simply close it. Next step is actually compatibility settings and for that open up Steam. Locate your game, right click on that, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Once you're over here, double click on engine, binaries, win64 come all the way down to find the wwm.exe right click on that head over to properties click on compatibility and make sure that disable for screen optimization over here is checked this will fix all kind of black screen issues and unwanted issues in the game click on the apply button and close it next step is fixing all of your game issues and optimizing your pc using hone.gg i have left a free download link to hone right in the description below so simply come over here and download it for free open up hone on your pc and then you will find optimizations expired optimizations and game settings all you have to do is simply click on the backups over here and then you have to create a new backup it's always recommended to create a backup before proceeding for such changes head over to the optimizations tab and then you will find general optimizations which includes io operation enable hone gaming mode optimize drives disable xbox you won't have to enable all of them hone also offers dedicated boost up which includes optimizing your disk drives memory optimization clean installation of your drivers and clean cleaning up your discord cache and other things over here apart from that hone also has a best thing called games over here where you can find games that are installed on your pc it will automatically detect the games simply scroll down and find where winds meet over here it's already added select it and all you have to do is click on best performance click on activate and it will apply all of the best settings that is required for this game to get you maximum fps and the most out of your hardware hone is absolutely free for 10 optimizations so i would recommend you guys to go check out play around with these optimizations and see what helps you i have left a link to it in the description below next step is disabling background applications and for that simply search for edit group policy over here and note that this setting will only be available for windows pro users once you're over here double click on computer configuration then administrative templates windows Compo and then app privacy then you'll find something called let windows apps run in the background double click to open it up and make sure that this policy is set to enable and under the options you'll find default for all applications set this thing to force deny click on the apply button and then simply close it and this will disallow all of the applications running in the background allowing your pc to use the resources towards gaming once all of that is done simply close it next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that press ctrl shift and escape onto your pc and then it will open up task manager all you have to do is come down to the fourth tab which is startup apps over here and then you have to start disabling the applications that you do not use applications like chat gpt epic games launcher copilot lg system hub and other applications that you feel that you do not use simply disable all of them off because it uses your cpu and ram resources right after the boot of your pc you don't want that so simply disable all of them and only keep the ones that you use right after you boot your pc and it will help you to not only optimize the performance but will also help you to reduce the last bios time the lower this time is the lesser time it takes for your pc to boot up next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and then you have to select your local disk c click on the create button and name it wwm click on enter and this will start creating a restore point i would highly recommend you guys not to miss this because it is going to help you a lot in case of any issues that might be happening in the later steps 
simply click on close and close system properties the next step is where we just meet fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this pack down in the description below it is going to help you optimize your pc's performance thoroughly all you have to do is simply double click on the first folder which is cp priority in which i have left amd and intel cp priority these priorities contains the correct dword values to optimize the performance of your processor and make sure that it is running on full throttle while you are playing the games for intel cpu you can double click and apply the intel cpu priority and for amd cpu you can double click and apply the amd cpu priority second folder over here is ram optimization in which i have left a ton of registries which are relative to your pc all you have to do is simply search for system information and then look for install physical memory it is 32 gb for me so i have to double click and apply the 32 gb ram registry could be different for you so you can apply it according to them and then uh, i have also left a reset to default just in case you wanna have to revert these registries back again the third folder is the wwm priority in which i have left above normal high priority and normal priority i would recommend you guys to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here this will help you to optimize the performance of your game and change the resource utilization towards maximum performance fourth folder is disable unwanted services over here this will help you to disable unnecessary services running in the background that you do not really use all of these services are absolutely useless except if you use any bluetooth or printer services i would recommend you guys to disable every single one of them over here and once again if you have by mistakenly disable any useful service all you have to do is simply double click on revert registries and turn them back on by simply double clicking on these ones the fifth folder over here is power plan settings which is really important for your pc you have to right click and then run it as administrator and this will run a powershell command on your pc to add a new power plan to access and apply that power plan you have to double click on power plan settings and then select ultimate performance which should be added over here this will help you to disable all kind of power saving features on your hardware to ensure that no power is being saved and you're running on full throttle to ensure that you get the stable and maximum fps on your hardware last folder is programs in which i have left clean temporary files you're gonna have to right click and then run it as administrator this will run a cmd you have to press enter and this will delete all temporary files on your pc which will help you to optimize the performance drastically i would recommend you guys to do it every now and then when you open up the game the next one is msi mode utility 3.0 simply right click and then run it as administrator this single software allows you to handle the inter priority of your hardware to find optimize your graphic card simply select your gpu in this list click on the msi button next to it and for the inter priority select high then click on the apply button and simply close it and everything is done simply close the fps pack next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you're over here click on adjust for best performance then you're gonna have to enable save task bar thumbnail previews show thumbnail system of icons show window contents while tracking and smooth edges of screen fonts other than that keep everything disabled to help you get the maximum out of your system resources and do not animate anything else then click on the advanced tab and then you have to click on the change button over here deselect automatically manage paging file size and click on custom size for the initial size go with 1024 as this is exactly 1 gb and then open up your calculator to set up your virtual memory a good formula would be dividing your ram by 2 so 32 gb divided by 2 and multiplying it with 1024 so i hope you get it how you do that divide your ram by 2 and multiply it with 1024 so you get the memory in megabytes this is exactly what you have to do is 16384 here click on the set button and once that's done simply close it next step is cleaning up your shader cache and this is gonna be a very useful step for that simply search for disk cleanup on your pc and open it up select your local disk and click on ok select a directed shader cache delivery optimization files recycle bin and temporary files over here make sure that everything is selected click on the ok button and delete the files this will delete unwanted shader cache on your pc and it will allow your game to re-render these cache files and it will fix any kind of issues that might be caused due to that once all of that is done you can drop into the game for the best in game set Settings. So your escape key and then head over to settings. Then you have to come over to display and then you'll find your visual style. You can go with vivid over here. It doesn't really matter which kind of visual style you'll choose. It's just some effects of brightness. Motion sickness reduction. I would recommend you guys to simply apply these settings as it will keep the game more stable. For the display mode, simply go with full screen. And for the monitor, you guys can go with your native monitor. For the VSync, simply close it on the FPS limit go with unrestricted motion blur should also be turned off super resolution type i would recommend you guys to use dlss if you have nvidia based graphics or go with fsr if you have amd based graphics for the dlss super resolution i would recommend you guys to go with balance or performance both of them works absolutely fine nvidia frame generation should be set to enabled and for the graphics quality you guys can go with performance or balance as both of them are absolutely good if you are going to go for much higher fps i'm gonna select balanced over here ambient occlusion low tessellation low 
वेजिटेशन क्वालिटी लो लाइटिंग क्वालिटी लो व्यू डिस्टेंस मीडियम इफेक्ट क्वालिटी हाई रिफ्लेक्शन क्वालिटी मीडियम एंड रियल टाइम सनलाइट क्लोज वन सर ऑफ दीज सेटिंग्स आर डन वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज सिम्पली गो बैक लाइव एज कैन एंजॉय योर गेम विद दाइस्ट एफ पी एस पॉसिबल सो गाइज दट वॉज इट फॉर दिस वीडियो आई होप आई कूड इफ हट इफ आई कूड मेक शूर टू लिव लाइक एंड स्मैश एट सब्सक्राइब बटन एज इट रियली हेल्प मी ग्रो द चैनल I'm really close to 250,000 subscribers and your support would be really appreciated. I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.